ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insight, a show about things that you need to know. And what we are involved in right now is we're involved in the election cycle in our town, in our state, and uh, later on in our nation. And we want to bring the automatic candidates for Telehoma on the air and let them tell you, number one, why they want to be elected and what they hope to accomplish. Uh, and the first thing, I'll, I will make a statement that I think is very important to me. I'm very passionate about it, and that is there is no place for party politics in city government. With that said, I want to introduce two sitting aldermen, <coughs> Daniel Berry and Cernobia McGee, and they're going to be with us here today and tell you a little bit about themselves and then uh, tell you what they'd like to see accomplished in the city of Tullahoma. First thing I want to ask both of you, where do you live? John, you can find me out on Linda Lane inside city limits. Been oh. there since I've been elected. Tullahoma, Tennessee. Tullahoma, Tennessee. And Tullahoma. I am also a Tullahoma resident, born and raised here. Okay, very good. That seems to be uh, an important issue uh, right now on, on some things going on. <laughs> And of course, we all have our different opinions on that. Um, what we'll do right now is we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be back and we'll find out a little bit more about our sitting alderman. Here at Barkview Senior Living, they're human friendly. That's why I love it here and so does my senior human. When they want a bite, they get chef-prepared meals, and so do I. Movies in the theater, day trips, walks on the trail, and other senior humans to play with. The grass and the grounds are exquisite. It's everything my human needs to be healthy and active. Parkview, <coughs> Parkview Senior Living for your dog's best friend, you. If you're looking for a new way to advertise your business, why not let 30,000 cars a day look at your ad on the Dameron Brothers digital billboard on Highway 55. This ad shows 1,440 times per day. There are only eight ads in the rotation on the billboard. On a 11 by 20 LED billboard, 320 by 640 matrix. Don't be the last one to get your commercial out in a new fashion on the Manchester Highway at the Dameron Brothers Digital Billboard. To get in touch, go to j at DameronVentures.com. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcome when you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life-enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. Okay, and what we'll do first now is we'll start off with Cernobia. And what I want to ask you are two questions. Okay. I've already stated them. You're a sitting alderman. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to know why you want to be elected again and what you would like to see happen in your next term for the city of Tullahoma. Okay. Well, I do enjoy um, being on the board of mayor and alderman. I've really enjoyed um, the last two years that I've had the privilege of sitting, um, working with this group of people. Um, I'm excited about the growth that we're um, about to see in our city, things that are happening, the retail that's coming to our city, um, the jobs, the manufacturers that will soon be coming. I'm excited just to see the growth and, and to make changes that are best for our city and our citizens. And, and what, what uh, do you have anything that in the back of your mind that is a, a bullet point or a, hot, a couple of hot topics that, that you would like to see move forward or, or maybe some change be, be enacted? Well, one of the hot topics, of course, the paving of the streets and the sidewalks, those things are actually um, 
in process of happening. So I'm excited about that. I know that it'll make the residents um, happy. Um, no one likes to drive on roads that are raggedy. You know, you know, you have to, you have the upkeep of your car and all of that. So I know that's exciting. The sidewalks for the kids, you know, their safety is what's first. Um, and so just a lot of good things are happening. And I just, I, I want, I would like to continue to be a part of those things um, that's to come in the future of Tullahoma. Okay. Um, the board, uh, now somebody, somebody, there are four seats open right now. Mm -hmm. And someone, uh, I think there's the, the, either maybe you might know the last, the least amount of votes on the four, that person gets a two, two. A two year term, the rest yeah. of them are four. Mm -hmm. And that way we get back to three and three. Yeah. Yes. So, so the, this is the only time, and that's why this, that's why this election is so important, where a majority of the, of the automatic seats can be filled in one time, in mm -hmm. one time. And so, which can change everything about the way the board operates yes. and the decisions that are made. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you, in, you've enjoyed doing what you do, and I know you do it in a very respectful, respectful way. Thank you. And, and you, uh, what, 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 are, uh, give us a couple of other things that you think you'd like to see happen. Um, I would like to see, um, well, for one, the, um, the, um, you know, people, perception for the people, their perception is real. So I, um, as I'm sitting on the board, I was a single parent. Um, I have partial custody of my grandkids. Um, so um, in someone's mind or in someone's eyes, I may be the least likely person to have been appointed or even voted to, to serve on the board of mayor and alderman just because of you know, the life things that I've had to experience. But those experiences, they've really helped me to grow to where I am today. So I think the perception of, you know, when, you're, when you serve on the board of mayor and alderman, um, it, you don't have to be in a, a certain financial class. You don't have to live in a certain area. You don't have to have it all together. You know, none of us really have it all together. Um, but it, I think that helps us be um, relatable and accessible to the people. Um, because when, when you're not relatable and accessible, to the people that makes a difference because, you know, number one, they're not going to want to reach out to you. Um, but I think making, you know, the, the experiences that I've had has really helped me to grow to be who I am. So I would like for the perception to change and that the city just doesn't do certain things for this side of town versus that side of town. I would like to see those types of perceptions changed. Um, and I would like that change to start with me. Well, you know, and we're we're in a, a time in society where you can be uh, arrested, charged, and tried mm -hmm. in social media before yes. uh, anybody even knows what the real facts are. That's so true. Uh, and and it's sort of like uh, if if your name is on the front page, John Gray hit somebody in in a car and and. Uh, ran away a hit and run on the front page and then they find out well that was a john gray from from uh from <laughs> idaho who was traveling to florida you know that retraction gets printed next to a grocery ad on the back of yes. the paper so you know first heard first believed mm -hmm. no matter about what the facts are a lot of times one of the things i i uh, appreciate about you is how respectful you are sitting in the seat that you sit in. Yes, and uh, we, we have, uh, seems like a lot of conflict. And recently you, you made a statement at the board meeting that, that you were tired of the nonsense. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not why you, and you used a word just a minute ago that is a very, very proper word and that is serve. Yes. When, when we're elected, we're elected to service for the people who elected us, mm -hmm. not for any agenda that that we personally might have right. or a personal group might have. Right. And you you sit that seat very well. 
Thank you so much. Um, I'm very mindful of, and I've always been mindful of how I carry myself. Um, our parents raised us to, um, one of the things they taught us was to never bring, never bring shame to your home, whether it's the home that you actually live in or if it's your hometown, um, just never bring shame. Um, and because a person's character and integrity um, really matters the most and that'll, that's what will take you far. So I've just remembered that. Um, and so I've always been mindful of how I carry myself. I'm, you know, the meeting that you're referencing, I, you know, I don't like to be associated with foolishness. Um, I love that. I don't. Love that term, um, foolishness. Yes, um, because we can't get the business done. Yeah, you can't, don't um, have when time. When we're concentrating too much on things that really doesn't matter, so. Well, uh, another hot question that is in front of everybody is the 2040 plan, mm -hmm. because that is being looked at, and I think a lot of people don't understand exactly what that is, and uh, you know, I think it's important that we get them to understand that this is not something set in stone, it's a recipe. It's a you know, it's like, and, and, and if you don't like uh, okra in your gumbo, you don't have to put okra in your gumbo. And just because something's stated in that plan yeah. doesn't mean that that's something that's going to happen. These are just ideas that have mm -hmm. been given to us by the citizens and by a very, very well done firm that came in here and ran that, ran mm -hmm. that program, uh, the, the fact-finding yes. mission. What, what, what are your... Uh, Thoughts about the 2040 plan? The 2040 plan, um, I'm one for growth. Um, you know, growth for our town is exciting. Um, yes, there are some concerns that our citizens have, um, but I want us as a city to ensure that we um, are not insensitive to the concerns that um, our citizens have. Um, and, you know, and just be mindful that, you know, they may not totally understand that this is a guide. Um, <laughs> Like you said, if you don't want okra in your gumbo, you don't have to put okra in your gumbo. <laughs> um, but I think sometimes when things are presented, you know, people hear what they want to hear sometimes. Right. Um, and so there were words used like adopted. So um, for a lot of people that came across as if, hey, this, this plan has pretty much been finalized and we're going to move forward <clears throat> as is when it's just a guide for us to use. Right, and, and I, I think what will happen is when things, when things, certain parts of that plan are, are look to be implemented, mm -hmm. there'll be a whole lot more discussion goes on before a specific Absolutely. part of that plan is mm -hmm. implemented. It's not like the citizens won't have another chance to speak. Absolutely. Uh, it's like I say, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. a recipe. And, and uh, uh, one put together with a lot of thought mm -hmm. by a very good firm. One of the young ladies, even a Tullahoma native. Uh, and so a lot of it is about traffic flow, which is a is. big problem, and, and, how, and housing, what kind of housing mm -hmm. we need. And so uh, it's well looked at, but it, it will be looked at with a microscope yes, sir. the next time it's done mm -hmm. before anything happens. So. You have a meeting that you have to go to. I do. That's your camera right there. I want you to look at the world and say why they need to vote for you. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to Mr. John Gray for this opportunity. Um, I do solicit your votes. I am committed to doing what's right for the citizens and the city. Um, I am also committed to being a part of the solution and not the problem. So I hope to see a lot of you coming out on Friday as we begin our early voting. Um, and I would like to say that I do, I would like to wish all the other candidates the best of luck. Um, you know, we're, hopefully we'll, you know, we'll get to work together, continue to work together, but we're a team and um, we need to be unified and not divided. And you said it best in the beginning that in city government, there's just no room for um, our political affiliations and our, you know, personal agendas. We're here to serve the citizens of our city. So thank you so very much. Sonobia, thank you for being with us. We're going to take a quick commercial break here and let her get on to a, a work meeting. And thank you for leaving work to come and, and do this with thank us. You. And uh, 
We'll be right back with Daniel Barry right after this commercial break. Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. The individuals with dementia, those with Parkinson's, those that have maybe mobility issues, need caregivers. Well, those caregivers are 24 hours a day at home and they never get a rest. And if they have to go to work, they're kind of out of luck. So that's why Trinity came into existence 25 years ago, to allow the caregivers to have a safe center where they could put their loved ones, know they would be well cared for, stimulated, fed good nutritious meals, have activities to their level, and then the caregiver can stop by and pick them up and go on home and have some continuity into their life. Folks, we're back, and now we're going to be with our second uh, candidate today, Mr. Daniel Berry, who is a sitting alderman. And uh, again, Daniel, I'll ask you the questions. Why do you want to be reelected, and what do you hope to see happening? If because these are four-year terms now, yep. the the person, and we need to explain that because Zenobia was appointed correct to fill Ray Noah's. Yeah, uh, slot. So I had nominated her, and then we went a couple rounds, and right, she, right. she won out there. And so we're having four elected this time. There should only be three each <coughs> during each cycle. Yeah. So the person of the four with the least amount of votes will get, we'll get a two-year term, and then they will have to run again, and then we will have <coughs> three each time. Yeah. So a new group won't be able to come in and change everything right and uh so that's that's where we are and uh tell me why you want to be uh, you thought for a minute i didn't think you were going to run then you decided to run again and what do you want to see happen in the next four years thank you john uh 2019 when i, when I first ran um was I came in kind of big eyed, bright eyed, and ran on accountability, transparency, and uh, informing. And those are some things that I've kind of worked really hard on over the past three years. And, and I say I, and I hate saying I, so I'm going to try to replace it with we as we go through here, uh, because I think there's a lot that we as a board have done together. Um, we're at a point now to where we have so much momentum going uh, in 2019 when we came in we had four months of normal and then COVID hit uh, but the city of Tullahoma didn't just get through COVID we came out on the positive on the other side of COVID um, builders who swore they'd never build in Tullahoma they're coming back we've looked at the processes we've got Mary director now planning director Mary Seminiego in there Jennifer sought her out fix that department um, builders are coming back we've got retail coming in Marshall's Ross's dress for less five below I'm on the Tullahoma area economic development corporation so there's some things coming that we can't talk about uh, but there's some exciting things coming and Part of the reason for saying let's do it again for either another four or two years was um, we've got a lot going on that I want to continue. Um, I want to make sure that we get it done. Um, the comprehensive plan, was, and we just talked a little bit about that with Cernobia, and 
that is such a huge positive for the city of Tullahoma. And over the next four years will be kind of heavy implementation years. And kind of some background on that. Before um, Sonobia touched on it, you know, we use some terms adopted, and those are just terms that we've got to use, right? The state requires you to adopt a comprehensive plan. Um, but there will be steering committees that are going to go through. I kind of look at it as um, I like the gumbo if you don't like okra, but I have always compared it to it's a vision board. We, sure. The public was involved from the very beginning. Uh, we had great participation, and they're going to continue to be involved, and it will continue to be the city's vision board. The next step, now that we have this giant vision, is to get this steering committee that's business leaders and members of the community, and we'll start picking things off of that vision board and saying, does this make sense for Tullahoma? Right. Um, and so that's exciting, and that's coming up. <clears throat> I think when you step back from just Tullahoma and you look at Coffee County and really this whole Tri-County area as a whole, it's an exciting time to be living here. There's a lot happening. Um, but in order to get to where we want to go, we've got to keep partisan politics out of it. We've got to focus on what's important. Um, and we have to work together as a board. And on the whole, I believe we've done that. There's been some drama. Um, but this board has accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to continue to see that happen. Do you see, uh, and I know there's, a, like, like you said, there's things that you really can't say because uh, a lot of these big corporations and people who are on the verge of making a decision about something or have made a decision, uh, you know, part of their deal is to keep all of that under wraps until they say yeah. it's time to, to let this cat out of the bag. Yep. Uh, are, we, are we looking at any manufacturing or any industry yeah. that, that's looking hard at us right now. I know we. I know our retail is great, and we we our service industry right. is great. But are we looking? Are are we seeing jobs so, show up? So it. This is something that is extremely exciting. At the Coffee County Industrial Board. We have a new executive director, Stephen Crook. This guy is amazing. He had come from Fayetteville, and he hit the ground running. And so, in Coffee County, we have kind of a, a gentleman's agreement or between the cities and the county where we've got a county-centered industrial board, and they're responsible for recruiting manufacturing and recruiting industry and filling our different industrial parks. Um, and they've got some big things coming. If we can get that mega site out there, in Man and I know that it's in Coffee County and in the Manchester side, but if you bring a site in here that has 2,000 to 5,000 employees, that's It good. affects everybody. That affects everybody. And that's something that we're looking at in the next five to 10 years. And that is part of the reason why looking at the Tullahoma 2040 plan right now and being prepared and looking at infrastructure, investing in TUAs, wastewater and sewage projects are important because you can't ever it's kind of a misnomer that you can get ahead of growth because you really can't, right? No. Uh, but Not you the can, way it's blowing from Nashville no. through Murfreesboro yeah. right down here. Yeah, you, you can't ever get ahead, but you can do everything that you possibly can to be as ready as you possibly can. And so those are the steps that we're taking. But yes, there's some exciting industry. We've got a new, um, over, I believe they're on Mitchell Boulevard. There's a patent on some taking old tires and turning it into asphalt that we can use in our roads, mixing that compound in with air, and I believe it will service the entire state of Tennessee. That will be a couple hundred jobs. That's a pretty neat thing that's right here right, right. in Tullahoma. And those are kind of the things that I think <clears throat> when we talk about manufacturing industry here in Tullahoma, we're, we don't give the base, I think, enough credit. Right. Uh, don't think about it enough, but we're a tech center. We've got the base. We've got fiber to the premise. I mean, these are huge things. And so we look at industry manufacturing. I believe that we're going to be looking at kind of this new manufacturing, these new industries, and those will be good paying jobs. Okay. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is uh, I'll, I'll make a statement right now. In, in, uh, in this race, there's seven Seven. Seven candidates. Three of the candidates, uh, Mr. Glick, uh, Ms. Johnson, and Ms. Wilson, chose not to come in and, and be interviewed. 
that's a decision that they made. And uh, I just want everybody to know they were invited and chose not to come. Yeah. So we'll take a quick commercial break and come back and let Daniel give you his plea for <laughs> a vote for Daniel Barry. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through higher standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, enjoying friends over chef prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. Okay, Daniel, I'm going to give you about a minute or so to uh, make a plea, short and long as you wish, and then I, I have a couple of things to say before we get off the air. Yep, first, thank you to you and uh, News Leader P. Head for doing this. I think it's extremely important um, to get the candidates on here so that we can talk about our platforms. I've been there for three years, so that's some experience that I've got under my belt. I think that we've done a great job, um, and I say we because there's you don't do anything with I, right? It takes the entire board to get something done. It takes the city staff to get something done. And it takes the community being involved and engaged. Over the past three years, we focused on infrastructure. We're gonna to continue to focus on infrastructure. We're invested now over $2.2 .2 million in road paving and compared to $930,000 the previous three years combined. We've got over $1.2 million in stormwater. That's important because that's something that we've heard. We go out and I've answered over a thousand phone calls in my three years. Telehome is a swamp on top of a mountain. It's a swamp on top of a mountain, but we're going to do what we can to fix that. That's right. Um, we've invested over $2 million in sidewalks in the past three years. And we've got momentum with the 2040 plan. We've got momentum with the infrastructure investments that we're doing. We've got some exciting things coming to the community, the farmer's market uh, over at South Jackson. And so my kind of plea is I think that <clears throat> On the board, I've tried to be a level head. Um, I don't vote no to vote no, and I don't make decisions based off of who makes a motion. If something's right, something's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Um, I go out and I go door to door and I listen to people and I talk to them. Um, and so I hope that I have earned your vote. If I haven't earned your vote, reach out to me, 931-229-0364. Visit my website, barryforalderman.com. Uh, I do answer my phone or come out and see me Friday at Fraser McEwen starting at 530. I'm smoking some hams. We're going to pull them and I'm doing some of my berry beans. That berry we'll beans. So come, right. out, come out and see me. All right. And uh, folks, what we want to remind you is election day is August the 4th and uh, uh, early voting starts here in the next couple of days. You can't complain unless you vote. Get out there, folks, and we have the right in this country that few countries have. We get to vote on what goes on. So with that said, thank you for watching Insight, and we'll see you next time.